the little outlet thing um, if you need to attach a hose and then that's probably a power outlet thing I don't want to mess with that that's a cool light I found and uh, there's some uh, some or there's some uh, air things going <coughs> kind of cold out here um, the bench can't really see it because the way the lighting hits and that's supposed to be a bench so I really like the way the trash cans show up um anyway every bench that you go to you're not going to get a good view except for maybe this one right here <clears throat> see that one's pretty decent so and you see shivering a little bit i must have whipped out all over these uh over these hours the Koshka Oswald guy would he'd be making fun of me right now. Be like, you idiot, I can't go to the park. Because why not? Why not? Uh well, see that's an M or something. Or really you could like you could lock up your bike if you wanted to. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Bike Lock Guy. Um But yeah, it's a nice park, uh Kind of like I kind of dig that tree right there. I go shivering again. There's rain on my head though. I guess I should have brought my umbrella. But nevertheless, there's another tree. Anyway, so there's a way I could zoom it in. Uh, that's some mud on the floor. It would look really cool if I could get a good, good angle. But I do like the mud. It's pretty cool. Um, eight. I can't see anything on this. What a bummer. Maybe there's some here. You can see that. Uh, you can definitely see. I mean, that's a cool light up there. It's raining on me head. So, nevertheless, I'll go uh, take this and put it in the back. Get you a... Uh, get you in the... Sure, this is Trump guy. And then you can see I got some of this white claw seltzer stuff. But I'll put you on here on the white claw sensor seltzer. And um so yeah, it's better that way. And uh I guess I'll see you guys when I get home, which which will And we're back. Um I had to I had to go upstairs and put some groceries away. I went to go get some food. I like the food. Anyway, um, well, welcome back. Uh, tried to make this place more of a more of a winter wonderland. Still at the trunk and White Claw hard seltzer. It reminds me of um, you know it's some some uh, wacky malt beverage most likely. You're using this. Uh, Using the spirit of a uh, dairy blossom tree and get a better view of it. So it's natural, natural lime. Claims that nothing's artificial and um, under cows. And it actually has ingredient, you know, nutrition facts, which is wild and wacky. It doesn't happen very often for, uh, for um, um, the whatnots. Whatnots. And next thing up, I've got Sierra Nevada. Come on, get a good view in there. It's a celebration. I was digging this. Get this. Um, it was a Christmas tree, and I really wanted it because I wanted to have a good Christmas tree in there. Um, well, um, and I've also got this. Um, it's a crumple cup. Like, I'm not gonna open it in the plastic but as you know well you must know about it but yeah whatever I can see if I can't can't find the one that I've got and share it with everybody why not anyway um, 
There it is. I found it. Um, I kind of got got distracted in there, but that's the cup. You know, basically you can you can crumple it up. Very very handy to have. You have a you can cover it with this. Um, but as I was saying, yes, that's a useful commodity to have. And next up. Uh, Next up, we'll go to the next. I could, I could unwind it here. Aside from, from that, I've got some sort of harpoon winter, winter warrior, winter, winter warm. It's a cinnamon and nutmeg holiday ale. Come on, get it get under the light so we can see a little bit better. I don't know why I'm sitting here in the rain uh, filming all this, but yeah. Established 1986. It's not the first snow that falls or the first holiday song. Tis the seasonal aroma of cinnamon and nutmeg drifting from the brew house that her heralds a season of tradition, wonder, and overuse of tis. We've been brewing Harpoon Winter Warmer since 1988. This is our holiday tradition. And then they're from Boston, Ma. Which uh, in Chinese means question mark. Question marker. And so that's almost 6%. Almost a high. I wouldn't say it's high gravity until it gets to the exact 6%, but yeah, whatever. And next up, I've got more Sierra Nevada. And somewhere I bought a, I bought just a straight up Sam Adams winner. And I had the chance to buy a box, but I decided not to buy the box. Because uh, I'll save it for later. Oh, there it is. Uh, winter lager. Very, very seasonal. Very uh, generic tree, unlike my cherry blossoms here. But... Nevertheless, uh, you know, they've got it on here. They don't have their mission statement like they had uh, on this guy. But, nevertheless. Now, yeah, this is pure love beer, love life. but And they got to learn better. You can't just be going around loving life and living live laughter and all that kind of stuff. This, this world's tough. Um, you know. And then finally, this is some sort of winter Waffle House ale. Winter white. Uh, kind of getting cramps here. So anyway. I don't know why I'm trying to record all this, but... And yeah. Uh, they've got a mission statement, too. Bell's Winter White Ale is a bright alternative to dark and heavy winter season old beers. This stylish and refreshing wheat ale is fermented with Belgium yeast, yielding a mix of clove and fruity aromas with the rise of any spice. Spices. Any ideal beer for bracing winter. And then, of course, it's got all the government warnings and Five percent and whatnot and it's Belgian inspired, so so it's not Belgian style. But it's inspired by Belgians. Which I don't know why all these have to be inspired by Belgians. But hey, what can you do? And of course, I've just got this dark, dark dog. This is my warning brew right here. Uh, it's got all the good stuff. It's for some reason it's got no gumbos. That's my only issue with it is they need more gumbos. If there's anything we need more gumbos, but they say it's not. Uh, it's organic. It's light. It's got some caffeine in it. Keeps me going. The price is decent. 
blah, 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 blah. Next up we have, jeez, um, don't think I'm running out here. Ah, here's cream of the crop here. This is um, the post-Christmas Day miracle that we've got here. That's why I make all this loud noise for no reason. Um, set this down for a second here. Oh no, we're getting to 10 minutes. That's bad. Viewers are going to get angry. They're going to say, hey, whatever man, pass the lava beans, ho. I mean, it's, hey, dang, they just call me a ho. Whatever. So anyway, this one is the Christmas Ale. Looks like he's riding a spaceship and alligators and stuff. Come on. Come on, you gotta circulate cherry blossom. There we go. So it's magical. Helps a lot of people too. Anyway, uh, they also have a mission statement. Each year at the Abita Brewery, we craft a special dark ale for the holiday season. And Papa Noel harnesses up his team of gators, makes this special delivery. The recipe changes each year so that Abita Christmas ale is always the perfect gift. Abita. And then this one, uh, this one might be even, uh, it's brewed in Los Angeles. Like, what is it doing over here? But, nevertheless, uh, got that. Got that going for you. And just in case um, there's nothing here, got some uh, Corbell just in case. But yeah, brute. But, nevertheless, as you know, you get a. Dude, 